Hi guys, this is Adam Baragzai over here at AHS Realty Pros. I'm here with Cindy Lowry and today we're going to have uh, Melissa from Unison go over the Unison program and Cindy is going to be a Unison approved lender so I'm going to have her contact information below and uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to her. Please do. It's a great program that can help your borrowers get into a home as little as 5% down and Unison comes and partners up with them and can provide the remainder of the 20% down. It's a great program. Anyway, because she's the one who is so kind to bring me in to speak to all of you anyway. I'll let you speak to all of you. I'll let you speak to all of you. I'll let you speak to all of you. We work with Unison. And uh, Cindy, you have been with us for quite some time. Yes. And you have been working with Unison um, for many years. Yeah. For many years. And it's a great program that will help buyers that have 5% and don't have 10, 15, or 20% down. And we have a program that will work together with Unison so the buyer can come in with as low as 5% down. Unison will partner with the buyer with either 5, 10, or 15% to make up that 20%, even up to 25% down, which helps qualify these borrowers because that is not used in their debt to income because it's not a loan. So I'll let Melissa explain the program to you. All right. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so as Cindy had mentioned, my name is Melissa Newburn. Um, I am the lending channel manager for the entire western half of the United States with Unison. On top of that though, I do have my own territory which is basically all of Northern California, so LA County up through and including Oregon and Washington. So what do I actually do for Unison? I work with Cindy and all of the other loan officers in the 14 approved lenders nationwide who have access to Unison. Um, we take great pride and spend a lot of time vetting out which approved lenders we want to have access to Unison's home buyer product and program. So it's not accessible to all lenders that are out there. So I spend my time working with loan officers, you know, making sure that they understand our product and our program, how to use it, how to talk to the clients about it. I do home buyer workshops. I come in and I speak with dealers like yourself. Pretty much what I do all day long. Okay. How many of you have heard of Unison before today? Okay. So Unison is actually what we consider a co-investment in real estate company. We were founded in 2004, and we actually started co-investing in real estate back in 2006. So we made it through the mortgage crisis of 2008. We're still here today. We are based out of San Francisco, so close by. Most of our business actually is here in California, though we are approved in 30 states nationwide. We are not a lender, as Cindy had mentioned, okay? because there's no interest rate, nor is there any monthly payments owed to Unison at any point in time in our agreement with the clients. However, since we were partnering with lenders and real estate professionals as well, we thought that it only benefited us and our partners to be vetted out by some of the federal agencies that lenders have to be vetted out by as well. FHFA, CFPB, we went to all of them, explained to them what we were doing, made sure that they approved of Unison and our co-investment programs to make sure that our partners felt comfortable in talking to clients about what we can offer them. Here's a couple of companies who have picked up on Unison and what we have done. We have, you know, they have made publications on us. They have spoken to our founding partners as well. So how does the home buyer product and program actually work? So as Cindy had mentioned to you, we can co-invest anywhere between five to 20% towards your client's down payment. It all truly depends on how much your client has to put down. Some clients may only have 5% down, which means what? Likelihood is, is they're probably not gonna be approved for a loan. If they are, it's gonna be government financing. So then they're gonna have, you know, all the FHA, you know, if it's conforming or jumbo, they're gonna have private mortgage insurance on top of it as well. And if we're talking about a jumbo mar market, private mortgage insurance can be really expensive. It can be seven, $800 a month on top of their monthly mortgage payment. Okay, very expensive. What Unison does 
is we will come in and invest anywhere between that 5 and 20% to make up the difference towards their down payment. What I want to get across, though, is it doesn't have to stop there. The maximum first lien that the client can get from one of our approved lenders is 80%. However, that doesn't mean that it can't be less than that. We have a lot of clients who come in with 10% but want a 30% down payment because when their realtors write the offer on the property, having a 30% down looks a lot better than having 15 or 20, right? Much stronger offer. So they'll come in with the 10, they'll have Unison come in and partner and provide the other 20% down, okay? So as long as there's a full 20% down between Unison and the client, you're good to go. You're golden. That's minimum. Definitely we can do more than that. I actually had a client just several months ago who bought a $5 million condo in San Francisco. They were coming in with 35% and used Unison for another 15. They didn't need our money at all. The annual income was sufficient to hold out everything on their own. They had money to even make 75% down payment. Their thought process was financially, this makes a lot more sense having a rich uncle provide part of the down payment because in the real estate market, we all know it's gonna ebb and flow, right? You're gonna have appreciation, you're gonna have depreciation. Nobody stays in their home for 30 years any longer. Question is, how long you decide to stay in that home, what will the market be like at that point in time? Nobody can see into the future. So we have a lot of clients who use Unison who don't necessarily need us for the down payment, but they use us knowing that there's a possibility on the back end when they sell the home, they're not the one who's taking the entire loss on their own, okay? So I will show you how that all works so you kind of understand. Most of our transactions though are going to be a traditional 80-10-10. They're gonna get an 80% first lien from one of our approved lenders like Cindy and Commerce. They're gonna come in with 10%, we're gonna come in with the other 10. That's typically what we see, but that's not all of the situations and scenarios that we can help. Again, it's a co-investment in the property, so there's absolutely no interest rate and not a single monthly payment owed to Unison at any point in time, and our term in our agreement does last for a full 30 years. Obviously, we think that we are the smarter, better approach to home ownership here in the future. Okay. What kind of clients can we help? So obviously, as I mentioned, we can help the clients who don't have the full 20% down, who only have five or 10% who are facing that government financing, who are facing private mortgage insurance. We can help the clients who maybe had that 20% down, but as their loan goes into final underwriting, for some reason, the underwriter decides, you know what, I'm just not comfortable with this commission and bonus income. I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna back it out. And now all of a sudden, your clients are at a 48% debt to income ratio and the guidelines are 43. We're already two, two and a half weeks into a 30 day close of escrow and all of a sudden they don't qualify any longer. I actually had one of those happen a week and a half ago. I had a loan officer call me and say, I need your help. We have a close of escrow, it's supposed to close in four days. Underwriter backed out some of the income. Now my DTI is too high. I need you to come in. I only need 7% from Unison to lower their debt to income ratio back down to 43%. Can you get this done? Our docs were entitled two days later. Okay. That's good. So again, not just the client who necessarily don't have the funds for the down payment. There's a lot of different ways that we can help clients. Also, your clients who maybe, when they've gone to a letter, lender to become pre-approved, maybe that pre-approval puts them at a $700,000 price range. Not too happy with that. They want to be in the next neighborhood with better school districts and everything like that. But that house, those houses are 850,000. How are they going to make up that difference? Partnering with Unison can increase their purchasing power anywhere between 15 to 19 percent. Okay. So as I just mentioned, increasing purchasing power. If you have a client who has an annual income of $225,000. If they were to put down 10% of their own funds, they'd be able to qualify for a $1.35 million home. It's not bad, not at all. Currently here in Concord, you have about 71 of them listed on the market. However, if Unison comes in and matches that 10% and we provide them an additional 10%, they now could purchase almost a $1.6 million home. Not bad, right? Mm -hmm.
Currently, based on Zillow, it only has you being able to show them three additional more homes, but that's still three more homes. And we know that that, you know, changes as the market fluctuates. But what does that commission look like to you though? Selling a $1.6 million home versus a 1.3. Mm -hmm. okay. Looks good to me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't have to do anything other than show them additional homes. <laughs> It also lowers their monthly mortgage payment. Because remember, we're not charging them an interest rate and there's no monthly payment. So if you take a look at the screen now, if you have a client who's looking to purchase a $1 million home, if they're putting 10% down and they're having to face private mortgage insurance, their monthly payment would be about $6,400. If Unison came in and put the additional 10% down, that monthly mortgage payment drops down to about $5,300. It's saving them $1,100 a month. There's a lot they could do with $1,100 a month, every month, for however many years they choose to stay in the home. One, they can give that money to their financial planner. Financial planner's gonna turn it around and have that money make money for them. Number two, if they actually do think about planning on staying in the home for a longer stint of time, take that $1,100 and just keep adding it to the mortgage, right? Instead of pocketing it or split it. Send 500 to the financial planner, Put another six hundred dollars towards the mortgage you're going to have more equity when you choose to sell that home right what i want to point out really quickly a lot of people like to call unison an equity share program and in the terminology of equity yes we are but what i do want to point out however is, is that we do not take any equity that the client has gained on their property from them remodeling the home or paying down the mortgage that's why Unison says that we have a share in the change of value of the property, which is how Unison gets paid back at the end of the agreement. Okay, and we're going to actually talk about that in just a second. So as I had mentioned, though, obviously this means that it gives you guys the opportunity to close a lot more homes. Okay, usually when I come and speak to real estate offices, the moment I leave, all the realtors are going back to their database and calling all of their clients who have kind of put off and decided, you know what, I'm getting really frustrated. You've helped me put in five or six offers. None of them are being accepted because all I have is 10% down and I'm being beat out all the time by the people who have 15 and 20% down. Realtors are now going back to their database, calling all those clients back and saying, you know what, I just came across this amazing program, Unison. I can tell you a little bit about it. I can also hand you over to Melissa. She can answer all of your questions for you, but partnering with them gives you a full 20% down. It's not gonna cost you anything extra per month because there's no interest rate and there's no monthly payment that's owed to Unison. We can get you into that home now instead of you having to save and wait. <coughs> Unison puts out what we call an annual report every year. Okay, We look at the median income in all the major cities and states that we are approved to co-invest in, as well as the median listing price of all of the homes. In San Francisco, any idea how long it takes the median income family to purchase a median in priced home in San Francisco? It's very difficult. It is very difficult. How many years? Three to five. I've been in the mortgage industry for 17 years, and to tell you the truth, I was completely shocked when the report came out last year. 42 years. What? To save up twenty percent down to purchase a median home price oh, in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. And we did yeah. three to five. And we wonder why there's a lot of people wow. choosing no longer to buy a home. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So now let's actually get into how the product and the program works. Because once you kind of tell your client, hey, I have this great product, I can actually help you get into a home now instead of you needing to you know spend the next couple of years trying to save up an additional 10 percent okay they're always going to want to know next well, that sounds great but what's the gig obviously somehow some way they're going to get their money back how does this actually work okay so if we have a client who's going to go ahead and buy a million dollar property they've got 10 percent to put down so they're going to get an 80 percent loan from cindy at commerce we're going to provide that other 10 percent because they just want the 20 percent down okay the buyer's share of change in value is going to be 67%. Unison's is 33%. This is very important, okay? And it's an easy equation to remember. The equation never changes from client to client because it's not based on the client who's buying the home or the borrower. Is that on your paper somewhere? 
Um, if or do it's, I need to write? Um, you don't need to write. It's it's all on the website. There's a really quick video of about a minute that explains the, okay. the program. It's amazing for all clients to take a look at that. Also, when your client signs the agreement, the terms of the agreement do not change based on how long they hold the agreement. So whether they choose to hold the agreement for only three years, they choose to hold it for a full 30, the terms do not change. They're not going to possibly owe us more the longer they hold on to it, okay? Because it's based on the changes value of the home, not on the borrower or the length of time they hold on to that agreement. How we come up with the 33%. All of our lending partners have access to our partner portal. Within 45 seconds, they can put a property address in the partner portal and it will spit back a response of whether the property is declined or approved for Unison's co-investing. Along with that acceptance, it also spits out what we call our risk-based pricing. This is what our investors determine as to be the risk in which they're willing to take in co-investing in this approved home. Our base pricing is 3.3. That's gonna be about 90 to 92% of the homes here in the Bay Area, okay? Our loan officers know that if they take that base pricing and they multiply that by the percentage that Unison is providing their client, that will give them in every single scenario the shared change of value that is owed to Unison, okay? Now what changes that base pricing is the home's determination. So when they run it through the portal, it actually gets run through Greenlight. That's the system that we created. We call it Greenlight. When you run the property address through that, it's gonna check the history of the property, the comps, where it's located as far as the city is concerned, you know, how far is it from the city center, you know, education, you know, mass transit, all those things are wrapped into Greenlight. So when you run the property address through it, it quickly determines what the base pricing should be. Now, if that property, let's say, is a little bit rural in nature, maybe it's a little bit farther away from the city center than we like, maybe that risk-based pricing comes back at 3.5 instead of 3.3. The equation is still the same. If the pricing when Cindy ran that property came back at 3.5, that means Unison is going to have a 35% share of the change in value versus the 33. Okay. If it is new construction, it's probably going to come back anywhere between 3.5 to 4 or 4.5. Why? Because new construction, new development, there's no history, no comps, no nothing that we can provide to our investors to let them know what their risk is. Okay. Any questions on that so far? Here's how it completely works. So our clients are now 10 years into the home that they purchased for a million dollars using Unison. We have three different scenarios. If the home has gained value 10 years later and they're now selling it for 1.2 million, we can all agree that the change in value is $200,000, right? That's it. Unison's 33% share of that $200,000 is gonna be $66,000, okay? What is owed to Unison is $166,000. Our original investment plus the $66,000, which is our 33% share of the change in value. They've paid down the mortgage to approximately $630,000, which means they've paid off that $800,000 mortgage by $170,000. That is their equity to keep and there's a loan. Unison gets no portion of that whatsoever. We just get that 33% share of the change in value. Change in value is what they purchased it for to what it is being sold for on the fair market value, okay? They're gonna make the payment to the lender, which means the homeowner is gonna walk away with approximately $404,000 in this situation. Okay. If the value of the home has not changed, all that is due to Unison is the amount that we originally gave them to purchase the home. Again, they're gonna pay off the lender. What is left over is again, the homeowners to keep. Here's the part that I absolutely love about Unison. Okay. There are a couple companies out there that are trying to do what Unison does. However, I will point out their agreement is not for a full 30 year term, much shorter than that. Number one and number two, they will never share in a loss ever. Your client is always going to have to pay them back at least what they originally gave them to purchase the home. Okay. 10 years later, your clients are only able to sell that home for $800,000. So again, the change in value is $200,000, but it's negative for both Unison and the client who's selling the home. Our 33% share is still going to be the $66,000. You're going to subtract that off the $100,000 that we gave them in the first place. All they owe us is $34,000. Yep. 
right? Now you kind of understand why we have clients who are completely financially secure, don't need Unison at all, but not knowing where the market's going to be and not knowing exactly how long they're going to choose to stay in their home are still partnering with Unison. They're not taking that whole $200,000 loss on their own, right? So again, they're still going to have to pay off the lender and what's left is theirs to keep. We should have known you back in 2008. Right. <laughs> okay. So how to work with us. It's very simple to be honest with you. Okay. Either you can contact Cindy. Okay. Let her know that you have a client that you have introduced to Unison. They need some more information. Okay. You're obviously going to want Cindy to probably run a pre-qualification or pre-approval for you to know where that client sits as far as what property and what purchase price that they can qualify for. Now, no, that can change depending on how much Unison is going to play in that purchase price as well. Okay, you know, do they have 10%, so we're going to come in with 10? Do they have 10, but they have decided that this is going to be their forever home and they want to make sure that they 100% have their offer accepted, so they're willing to come in with a 10 and have Unison come in with a 420, give them a full 30% down. Okay, that's something that you and Cindy will talk about. Also, Please feel free. I've given you guys all my business cards and Kenny kept some extras as well. Give my information to all of your clients. This is what I do every single day. I'm on the phone all day long talking to realtors, loan officers, and clients answering questions. They do not have to be in contract to start talking to Unison by any means. We are happy to talk to them before they even go and start looking for homes. We, got, we have clients who call Unison all the time into our direct line who are not working with realtors and are not working with loan officers. They literally called us because somebody had told them about us and now all of a sudden they're like, wow, I'm calling you to find out more because I never thought I could even own a home. And now I'm realizing <coughs> I possibly can, so tell me more about your product and then I'll go out and start talking to a loan officer or a realtor, okay? Um, an account executive. Unison has amazing account executives that work underneath us, okay? Anytime your client calls and speaks with me or they're speaking with Cindy, okay? Once that's kind of done and they want some additional information, I'm gonna hand them over to one of my account executives. That account executive will stay with your client from the start to the finish of the transaction, okay? So even if they're coming to us way before they ever have an accepted offer and it takes three or four months before they actually get an accepted offer on a home, that same account executive is gonna be there to answer any of their questions, from that point on until they actually fund and close on that home, okay? The account executives are available Monday through Saturday from 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. because we obviously know that clients work all odd hours of the day. We educate the clients. We never want any of our regular partners or any of our loan officers to be experts on how the product and the program works. We want you guys to know the basics so you can introduce Unison to your clients, but that's what we are here for. We do put the clients through a 15 to a 30 minute telephone call, in addition to all the other calls that we have with them, that is buyer's education. And the reason I say that it's anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes is if you have a client who gets it and understands it, it's a quick phone call. For those clients who don't quite understand, have a lot more questions about it, can take a little bit longer. But we want to make sure that all the clients that we are working with understand that we are 100% transparent and are there to answer any single question that they have on the agreement and completely walk through them from the agreement that they're going to be signing at the close of escrow. Because again, since we're not a lender, our closing package looks a lot different than what they're signing for the lender. Number one, it's not nearly as large, <laughs> but it does look it does look different because we're not a lender, you know, um, it's an actual, it's an option agreement versus a lending agreement. So it does look a little bit different. So how do we write that into the contract? Every single realtor that we have that is using Unison, Just, you don't. You don't. 20% down. Mm -hmm. okay. right. we don't have to, there's nothing we have to do. Mm -hmm. There's nothing they have they have to show no the lender to say, okay, they're, they're fully pre-approved for yep. 30,000, you know, 30% yep. down. You got it. The only thing that I'm going to suggest that you do is if you know that your client is wanting to use Unison before they ever go into contract is either contact me or contact Cindy and say, I just showed these clients a home. They are interested in using Unison. I'm going to write an offer. I need you to run the property address because the last thing that you want to happen right. is for your client to say, oh my gosh, this is great. 
I now have a way of buying a home. You write the offer, the offer is accepted. Then we run the property address and for some strange reason, it's not approved. Right. Then mm -hmm. everything is blown up on the water, right? Mm -hmm. Again, here in the Bay Area, that hardly ever happens, but I always suggest to just do it. Again, it takes 45 seconds. I mean, I have realtors who send me, you know, an email once or twice a week and say, I'm showing these clients five homes on Saturday. <clears throat> they know they're going to use Unison. Melissa, run the properties and let me know which ones are approved. So when I'm showing them, I can say, now this one you can use Unison on, this one you can't. Yeah. It's that fast. So you only pre-approve them uh, when, they, when you know the address? Correct. Okay. Correct. So here's the other thing about Unison as we actually are getting into the origination process. Because we are not a lender, and because we partner with the 14 approved lenders that we have, those lenders are the ones who are qualifying your clients for the first lien program. No different than them not using Unison at all, right? The clients have to qualify for their debt to income ratio, for the guidelines of the loan program that they are getting, okay? We do not qualify the borrowers. We qualify the property because that's what Unison is co-investing in. Which is why we run it through Greenlight. That's why we're going to get the appraisal from the lender when the appraisal is done, so we can go through and underwrite the appraisal. Also, Cindy, plug your ears. We also require an inspection on the property. Our lenders don't ever want to see that because not a single <laughs> lender, whether they're partnering with Unison or not, want to see an inspection report on the property. We do because, once again, our co-investment is in the property. The so we want to see the condition, okay? That's what we are looking for. Is that is it home, pass, and roof, or just home? Um, it's all. All? It's all. all. And do you have inspection? the inspector? Um, well, so here's a... We have some, some clients who have chosen to not have inspection reports conducted, which is fine. However, it is required for Unison, so there have been several occasions where it's done post-close, okay? I mean, if we're being honest, yeah. right, appraisers that are good, which are what most lenders use, they're going to be able to see whether or not that property is falling apart. Yes. Yeah. If it is, likelihood is your client is going to determine to not purchase the property and walk away. Otherwise, they're going back to the seller and you're rediscussing the purchase price and seeing if things can be fixed and things like that, right? Right. Unison is going to be the same, okay? So I don't want you to panic and think, oh my goodness, you know, if, if the inspection report comes back and there's $2,000 of termite damage, now Unison's going to walk away from the property and now what are we going to do, okay? That's not, the, that's not the case. That's not what we're using the inspection reports for. Um, again, almost anything that is severe is going to come across in the appraisal and the lender's going to see it. Most of the time they're going to have an issue with it as well. Okay? The process. Very, very simple. We knew that we were going to be partnering with lenders and to make it less stressful on them, on us, and most importantly, the clients right. that we're all working for, we aligned our process to work seamlessly alongside of all of the lenders. So all of our loan officers are gonna pre-qualify the client. Either they or we will run the property through Greenlight, depending on who the realtor gives the address to or the client. We have a cap for that, um, Yeah, it's a portal mm -hmm. that our loan officers have access to. So do we have access to that as well? Um, as a realtor, you have access to the Unison website, which there is a portion in there where anybody, clients, anybody can go in there and put a property address through. So we have clients who run property addresses on their own and then tell their realtor, I want to go take a look at this house because it's approved for Unison. So anybody can have access to that. Um, yeah. Um, well, no, just go to the Unison's webpage. Oh. Yeah, internally we call the technology that we use to run the property Greenlight. Obviously the client's gonna be introduced to Unison. Again, they do not have to be in contract in order to speak to Unison up front, okay? They are going to submit a Unison application. This is not the 1003 that they are providing with their lender, okay? We have a one-page application that we call it. Just gives us information about the client, their telephone number, email address, you know, what they're kind of looking for, how much do they think that they have to put down. Simple things like that, so we know where in the process we're gonna end up meeting with the lender, okay? The customer is gonna complete the Unison Education Program that I already spoke to you about, and then obviously we're gonna have a joint closing. 
I do want to point out, Unison does not extend the close of escrow on any transactions that we have ever I know what been involved in. Almost all realtors are still writing 21 and 30 day close of escrows on their offers that are being accepted. As I had mentioned just a week and a half ago, I closed one in two and a half days to save the deal. Because we are not qualifying the client, so we don't have to run income and tax returns and assets or any of that kind of stuff through an underwriter. We're just looking at you know a couple of items that are associated with the property. Our process is actually a lot faster. Our docs are usually at title several days before the lender, as well as our wire. So there's a couple of important terms and conditions that I do want to point out. Not a lot because again, we don't have guidelines like a lender does. The agreement ends when the homeowner decides to sell their home. It is for a maximum of 30 years. We do not share in any losses when they sell the home in year one through three. Let me explain why. We are interested in helping people obtain a home that they want to live in. They get to determine how long that is. But it's a pretty much known fact that anybody who chooses to buy a home, knowing that they are going to flip it, even if they're living in it currently, usually does that within the first three years. We're not interested in helping property flippers create income for themselves. Okay. So if they're going to sell the home within years one through three and the market does take a decline, we will not share the loss. They will owe us back what we originally gave them. If they sell after month 37, we will take a hit like we talked about in that prior screen. The homeowner can buy Unison back. They do not have to sell their home. We have no ownership rights in that home. We can't tell them that they can't paint the walls lime green if they wanted to, okay? Well, we do. Right, that's, you know, <laughs> to each their own, okay? <laughs> they do have the option to buy back the agreement without selling the home. That can happen in month 37. So they cannot buy Unison back for the first three years. And should they ever choose to buy Unison back without selling the home, again, we will not ever share in a loss when that happens. Anybody have any ideas to the reason behind that? Yes. Well, just, I mean, if the if you buy the house, it tanks, and then you see a recovery happening, you would you would sell it, and then you, exactly. would, you would get all the... Exactly. Yeah. So Unison feels like since we are being completely transparent and equal partners with the clients that we were helping put into homes. Unison is not targeting the market as to when we will provide co-investments on homes, right? So we're not waiting for the market to tank and then we're saying, hey, guess what? Let's go ahead and provide all these people with 10 or 20% down to help them buy a home because the market's tanked and we know it's gonna go up, which means Unison and our investors are gonna make a lot more money, right? We're not targeting the market in doing that. So it's not fair that the clients that we have helped get to target the market and wait for the market to fall and then call up Unison and say, I want to buy you out. Okay. So they have the opportunity to buy us out any point in time after three years, but if the market has decreased in value, they're still going to owe Unison back at least what we provided them. Okay. Kind of like a stock too. You don't, you, you never really lose until you sell. Correct. You know, and if, yeah. 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 So the next question that we always get is what are the typical properties that Unison is willing to co-invest in? Most of them are gonna be single family attached, detached, and condos, primary residence, or true second home. These are not homes that you are airbnb out. They're not homes that you are doing for summer rentals. They are true second homes, okay? Obviously one unit. Some of our lenders will allow two to four unit properties as well as long as one of those units are owner occupied. And new construction. We can't be used for construction financing, but once the property is completely built, and the client is doing their final financing to purchase the home, we can come in and be used with that, okay? I will point out that we work with a lot of realtors as well as loan officers who are the preferred lender for actual builders who are building developments. Okay. Those loan officers provide me with the information for the development and I get the whole entire development approved. So then nobody has to worry about going in and entering a hundred different addresses for that development. Just the whole entire development is approved we know what that risk space pricing is going to be, so it's really easy to create flyers and marketing materials around that whole entire development. Okay, so what homes are not typically approved with Unison? Those are going to be homes that are atypical for the neighborhood. So 
So I always like to get the story of you have, you know, a subdivision where all the properties in there that were built were 1,500 square feet, but unfortunately five years ago a tragic fire hit one of the homes and the owner decided when they wanted to rebuild it to add a second story and now that property is 5,000 square feet. That property is probably not going to be approved to use Unison's home investment, right? It's completely atypical to the neighborhood now. It doesn't fit any of the, you know, of the standard features that any of the other homes in that neighborhood have, you know, there's not going to be any comps for it. Properties that are very rural in nature, obviously then the comps for those are going to be too far away, but we're talking farmland. And here in the Bay Area, almost all the properties are going to be approved, okay? No co-ops or ticks. Manufactured and mobile homes are not acceptable for Unison's co-investment either. So unfortunately, we can't help Grandma. <laughs> the next question that we always end up hearing is yes, is there any please. fee to use unison okay great so there's no interest rate there's no monthly payment i understand how it works you know the house kind of determines how unison is going to be paid back at the end of the agreement is there any fee there is there's a one-time transaction fee it's two and a half percent I want to point out that two and a half percent is based off the amount that Unison is providing the client. So if we're giving them a hundred thousand dollars, it's twenty five. It's twenty five hundred dollars. So it's not two and a half percent of the value of the property. It's not two and a half percent of the lien that they, you know, the loan that they are getting from Cindy or any of the other approved lenders. Okay. That two and a half percent. But that does need to figure into yes, what you it need does need to figure into the cash to close figures. It can be paid via third party credit though. Okay. That two and a half percent though cannot come out of the money that Unison is providing. I know that when you actually use a down payment assistance program, a lot of times those can be used for down payments and closing costs. We are not a down payment assistance program in the term and the sense of a true down payment assistance program owned by the state or the federal government. So ours are obviously no, cash to close figures come out of pocket. Okay. We do not have any underwriting fees. We don't have an app, you know, an application fee. There's no processing fee. It's just the one-time two and a half percent fee. So two and a half percent of the No, it's two and a half percent of whatever we are providing. So if they're buying a million-dollar home, Unison is giving them ten percent. So we're giving them a hundred thousand dollars. So it's going to be twenty-five hundred dollars that gets added to the CD and the LE and put on the you know, estimated. Yeah. So let's say we're we're in we're in into the transaction. Yep. Through, because um, I'm using Cindy. Mm -hmm. So on the transaction, do I keep on um, talking to you as well, or yep. it's just Cindy who's no? Nope. No. So when you're in, when you're in contract, mm -hmm. or even when you're not in contract, okay, um, the three of us can always stay in communication with one another, and okay. then we're even going to loop in the title or the escrow officer when there is an actual transaction and somebody's in contract now. Okay. So anything that my account executive needs directly from you, which is mm -hmm. going to be the inspection report, right? Because we know Cindy doesn't want to see that. Mm -hmm. My account executive is going to reach out to you and ask you for that. Because the moment Cindy sees that, she can't forget she sees that. And uh -huh. she has to turn that over to her underwriter. And that opens up a whole other can of worms that we do not want opened. Okay? So I'm going to get that directly from you. There are going to be things that I need directly from Cindy. I'm going to need the appraisal from Cindy. I want her 1003 and her 1008. I don't look at it. I'm trusting her and her underwriter's judgment that the, that the customer you know, qualifies for the first lien, mm -hmm. debt to income ratio, all of that kind of stuff. I'm relying on her for that. But for our investors, I need those two forms in the file when they close. Okay. So I'm going to get those directly from her. I'm also going to call title. I'm going to get the grant deed from title. I'm going to get the preliminary title report from title unless Cindy sends it over to me, which most of the time our loan officers do because they already have it. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to stay in communication with basically our three partners, being the escrow officer, the real estate officer, and the loan officer. And we're going to contact each and every one of you to get the items that we need or if there's any questions. So we all are on the same page and know exactly where we are in that transaction to make sure that everybody is still on set to close the date that we need to close. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So if anything happens to come up during, you know, a third or a fourth visit to the house and all of a sudden you realize that the seller poked a hole in the wall, you know, or whatever, you can contact Cindy as well as contacting us and saying, hey, we now have to fix, you know, a piece of the sheetrock. We're going to have to extend the close of escrow out by a week to make sure that that gets done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, not a problem. But yeah, just all in communication with one another so we can make sure that those clients have, you know, as stress-free as it can be. <laughs> you know, buying a home is stressful regardless, but we're, we want to try to make it as stress, you know, free as possible. Yeah. And the, another thing, you said that you needed the inspection report, right? Okay. So sometimes the sellers already have, um, the have already report. done their inspection. Mm -hmm. Would you honor that? Um, we will as long as um, is there a number of certain days? period. Certain yeah, period. A certain period of time. Um, okay. And to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what that exact uh, actual time frame is. It's probably going to be 90 days, I would assume. Yeah, it's three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So probably the same as the appraisal. As long as it was done in that. Within the 90 days, yeah. it's. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. So we'll probably use inspection. it. Usually, test inspection, they're good for 60 days. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we don't, we, we don't try to make the process any more difficult. Mm -hmm. you know than what it normally is going to be so we're not going to add any additional time frames or you know require mm -hmm. things to be done you know mm -hmm. faster than what anybody else in the transaction is going to do that just wouldn't make sense for anybody okay. to make things a lot more difficult okay these are the states that we are currently allowed to co-invest in however we are moving completely across the united states and hopefully within the next couple of years we'll be there including canada and hawaii mm -hmm. Hawaii, sure Hawaii. Well, Kenny, you know Hawaii. I can't tell you when it's coming. Are you yes, yes. Hawaii, Hawaii? Is, yes, Hawaii will be there as well. Are you yeah. going to be moving? Yeah. 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 You never know. Yeah. He'll have an office there. Have a <laughs> <laughs> that's what you can buy a second home. Well, well, he well, mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he's yeah. buying a second home. and then yeah. 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 There you go. Right. Yeah. 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 Just give you a vacant land, and then we call. Uh, <laughs> mobile mobile mobile. <laughs> 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 but they, maybe someone won't be able to help you. You can't. You can't get Yeah. Awesome. Any other questions? Do you also do uh, commercial? Just as support units. Because I see you doing in Florida. There's mm -hmm. some condo hotels there. Right? Um, I would suggest running the property through Greenlight and seeing whether or not it would work. I know that there is a lot of condo hotels in Florida. Um, the regional manager that's there hasn't said that it's been an issue. So, mm. so uh, Unison mm -hmm. feels, I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to understand on the profit side, yeah. on the business side. Unison say, uh, wants to basically help the home buyer by putting about 10% and mm -hmm. having 10%, I mean, 2.5% on the um, originating fees, that's it, yeah. right? Which basically covers and, the cost of all of our employees that are working on the transaction to get it Yeah, and finished. should there be a loss, Unison is willing to take a substantial hit based on the example right. up to even 66,000. Right. When they sell the home. When they sell the home. Yeah. So where basically. Do, where do they make the profit? So, well, they make the profit because our investors are large. Okay. Our investors are university endowments, their pension funds. Okay. They love investing in real estate, right? <clears throat> Long term investment. And the okay. presumption is that they will not be incurring that much kind of a loss in the future because of the e-house. Okay, right. yes. makes sense. Yes. Exactly. I mean, most homeowners usually stay in their home between seven to twelve years. It's definitely going to appreciate. I mean, you know, any investment is a gamble, mm -hmm. but usually real estate is kind of you know more simple. Yeah. You know. Well, they don't have that's good. Five Most people down. sell after they. Have they have, have to at have least have a full. Yeah, five the equity. Equity. Yeah, yeah, people don't sell it a lot. Yeah. 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 True. Correct. True. Yeah. Unless so it is for close. Well, that's when they just walk away. They walk away. Yeah. 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 Invest at least the 15 because they have to have a full right. 20% down. Mm -hmm. But if they wanted to have that stronger offer or if their debt to income ratio was still a little bit too high when sending around the numbers, then obviously Unison could come in with the 20 and give them 25% down. Okay. What's yeah. your maximum? 20%. 20%. 20%. 20% or $500,000. You usually hit the 20% way before you hit the $500. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah. yeah. And that's a $10 million home. <laughs> you know? So, My hands yeah. are itching. Right? Uh oh. <laughs> and I mean, also remember, I mean, if you have, I mean, you know, 
you guys are also out there listing and representing sellers. Most of the time when people are selling a home, they're obviously going to turn around and look to purchase something else. Mm -hmm. Are they settling for a, you know, medium sized home? If you look at the history of people buying homes, usually they end up buying three or four homes in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. Starter home, one or two homes that they upgrade into, and then their final residence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So really talk to your clients about that. You know, if they're selling and you're representing them in the sale of their home, then obviously you're going to help them purchase another home. What is their end game? I mean, are they looking, you know, if they're selling their home for 800000 and they're wanting to move into a million or a $1.1 million property, are they settling for that $1.1 million property because that's all they can qualify for on the lending side of things? Whether they have enough equity to put a full 20% down on that next home or not? You know, are they having to settle for that price range because that's all they can qualify for on the first lien program? You know, if what they truly want is that 1.3 or $1.4 million home, but they just can't get there via the fact that they don't have a full 20% down or they're not qualifying, you know, for the monthly mortgage payment, talk to them about Unison as well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Then they're going to, you know, be able to not, you know, they don't have to settle for that $1.1 million home. You can actually get them into that $1.3 million home, right? And also, for all the homes that you're selling, you know, talk to Cindy, talk to myself. Run them through Greenlight. Yeah. Right? It's I mean, you don't, want, you don't want that property to sit on the market for any longer than it has to. So you're going to make commission on both sides of it. If that property is, you know, something that is pre-approved with Unison, why would you not want to know that ahead of time so you can work with Cindy and we can do co-branded flyers that are sitting at that property mm -hmm. so when people walk in, mm -hmm. I mean, we all know, we've all been there, right? How many people walk into homes that they probably truly can't afford? It's a little bit outside of their oh, range yeah. of ownership, right? Mm -hmm. But they're walking in anyway because it's that dream. Mm -hmm. You now have a flyer that basically tells them, guess what? You still yeah. could own how this home and let me show you how. Yeah. So how much faster are you going to be selling those homes when you know ahead of time that Unison can be used to help the buyer of that home? If you have any questions at all on the Unisense program, please give me a call. All my information is down below. I'm here to help you and get into your home, your dream home. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. And if you need a, a realtor that actually understands the Unison program, yes. how to make sure that the property is approved, I'm going to have our contact information as well. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.